Welcome once again to Victory Vibes and I just wanted to check in with you all and see how you're doing. Um, we are in spiritual warfare in case you hadn't noticed yet and um, I was talking to my son the other day and I was reminding him of a scripture Ephesians 6 um, started in verse 10 and I, I want to read that with you today. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, Take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil days and having done all to stand, stand. Then it goes into our spiritual armor, which we'll read here in a second. But I just wanted, first of all, to establish the fact that we are in spiritual warfare. Second of all, it's not against people. It's against the spirit realm. And there is a wicked enemy of our soul called the devil. And he will work in... Um, principalities and powers and the rulers of this earth and we don't belong here you know we we are of the kingdom of God so he does not like us and he doesn't want us here and yet we are but we have a, a God who is greater and so let's get into that armor and uh, let's get equipped for the battle in um, verse 14 uh, it says stand therefore Having done all to stand, stand. Verse 14, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end and all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So Paul is talking to the church at Ephesus and he's telling them uh, exactly what their armor is. And as we read that, I'm sure you like I saw words like truth. We saw uh, faith. We saw that um, peace, all of those things, um, righteousness, salvation, um, all those things are our armor. So get a mental visual of putting on a helmet on your head to protect your thoughts. And what was that? That was literally putting on um, the helmet I lost it in my lineup, but the helmet of salvation is like, and it's like, who am I? Well, I'm a child of God. I'm saved. I'm born again. Uh, we put on that breastplate of what? It's going to protect the heart and it's righteousness. Who are you? I'm righteous. I'm not a sinner. I am not, I don't live like this world. I'm righteous. So when those fiery darts come at you, which they will, it's not if they do, it's when they do. When they come at you, that righteousness of who you are, the helmet and the breastplate of righteousness. And what is the belt? The belt is truth. And, you know, the enemy, his, his uh, tactics are lies. And God's is truth. And the Bible says that the truth will set you free. So I don't know what you're going through today, but put on the army, armor. You can go through the whole list uh, in your study. I'm going to try to keep this really short but powerful. So Ephesians 6, start reading in verse 10 and go all the way to the end. Uh, powerful word of God on spiritual warfare. So saints, if you find yourself in that battle right now, let's pray. Father God, I just pray for my brothers and sisters in the Lord that are going through spiritual warfare. I ask God for you to touch them. I ask God for you to help them to stand, having done all to stand, that we would stand, God.
And Lord, that we would not walk in fear. We would not walk in the things of this world and the things of our flesh. But God, we will walk in that mighty power of the Holy Spirit that you make available to us. And through your word, God, and that we would have in our hand that sword of the spirit, which is the word. And God, that we would operate with the word. And God, the word is what you quoted to Satan when he was tempting you in the desert, in the wilderness for 40 days. God, you used your sword. Your sword was the word of God. And God, it's our sword as well. And you passed it on to us. Thank you for that weapon, God. And God, I pray for victory in this battle, God, that we are not defeated in the name of Jesus. You are not defeated and you are in us. Therefore, we are not defeated because we are yours. And thank you, God. God, help us to hear your words. Help us to act on it in bold faith. In your holy name, I ask it. Saints, um, stay strong and stay in the battle and know that you win. If you stay with God, you win. You do it on your own, I can't guarantee anything. But you do it in the spirit. Uh, you apply the word of God to your life. And even if it doesn't make sense, do it. And God will honor you and he will reward you for it. So this is Victory Vibes signing out. And uh, love you all till we see you again. Bye-bye.